country in this video. Hey there, y'all. Okay, hey. This uh -huh. is products we regret buying. So, if you have these, if you love them, I'm sure you love them for a reason, but we do not. We just absolutely hate them and don't recommend them. So, yeah. Starting off is Ashley. Okay. <laughs> This is the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup, and it's really good for covering, but it just keeps giving you more and more to cover. It makes you break out. Like, okay, I don't know if it makes every, everyone break out, but it definitely made me and my sister break out a lot, and yeah, this is. I just want to say, like, when it comes to, like, um, skincare people, like, making, um, like, foundations and stuff, I know they're not the only one who does this. Um, but it's kind of hard to like make sure it's good for your skin because some facial washes don't work well with your skin either so you should always test it out before using like test it out on part of your skin or like how hair dye say use your elbow or something so next is last lash fusion from covergirl I mean it started out really well but after a while it just started clumping and not working as well and just dries up. Yeah, but the I, brush is good. I like the brush. I feel like that's most CoverGirl mascaras. Everyone tells me that they work super great when they first get them, but then they just dry out and like the brushes get really clumpy and You're going to see Tabby again. No. <laughs> Maybe. No. Okay. So another product I regret buying is the um, old formula of the Great Lash. Okay, you can hear everything that anyone says. Can you see it? Okay. <laughs> yeah. And this, it didn't really do anything to my eyelashes. And when I tried to take it off, I'd use makeup remover. And it would just, like, completely go all the way down here. I do not like this. The new formula is good, though. Yep, it. it does. This, no. I do not. What's it called? Recommend. This. The old one. I you don't like this one. For this mask or not mascara, this is eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. And I got it at my store. I can't even like see like the just it even the tube ran off really well. Or like ran off, but it's like this and you can just you find it at Meyer and stuff. Or like probably Walmart, but they don't really sell it at Kroger or like Walgreens. It's just this colored eyeliner and it literally puts like you can't even really take that much off of it it literally just clumps so much and it is a pest to try to get off your face like me and my friend were doing it one day because we were taking pictures and we were putting it on our things and we had to go into our bathroom and like scrub it off it was awful okay that doesn't sound too nice but it's not <sighs> it's not nice for your face at all it's awful next product I regret buying is actually something I used for like half the year and then people started telling me that my face looks sparkly anytime we went outside or in bright lights. <gasps> She's Alan Collins' sister. Edward Collins. I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Alan like, Collins. And um, this girl was like, yeah, the reason I didn't get that uh, foundation is because I saw a whole bunch of reviews on it and it said, you know, it was sparkly made my pores look bigger. And I took a mirror outside, looked at it, and I was like, no. Oh my gosh, I can't use this anymore. But I did use this on her. <laughs> because it is the palest makeup that I had. So. Yeah. Ginger status. And if you have, like, dry skin, it shows it. Like, it doesn't moisturize at all. It just shows every, like, little dry skin flake that you have. Like, a rose during the winter, biggest mistake ever. No? Yeah. Um, next project is... I'm going to steal hers. Okay. Is this... Line Stiletto Maybelline. I mean, I do love Maybelline products, and I do like how it has a nice, convenient kind of applicator, but it was even kind of hard. I used it on her eyes, and it was kind of hard to even get the line straight, and it does look like it was kind of drying out quickly. I don't know how long she's had it, but I feel like liquid eyeliner shouldn't dry out quickly at all, so. And it's more gray toned than black, and it's supposed to be black because I got the black one. Oh wait, they do have like, they have black and then they have black as black. This is black as black, so yeah. 
it is and it fades off your eyes like super quick and if you rub your eyes it's off it's gone completely and i said that in the other video but it's true it, i don't like it maybelline i'm kind of disappointed and you know from our old other video that we love most of your products yeah maybelline okay this is la colors la colors is really cheap like a dollar for everything and but they're, they're, this is just no excuse you know it is a dollar. It should be better quality than this. Elf has way better concealer than this. I'm just saying. They're a dollar too. But, uh, it makes you look red. It does not conceal anything. It feels like you're putting straight oil on your face. No. Don't get this. Even if it is a dollar, go to Elf. Get some Elf concealer. Elf concealer is the bomb. Like, tick tick. I recommend Maybelline. Um, the next product I like, this is, or I don't like, I'm sorry is Insta Dry Sally Hansen nail polish. I usually love Sally Hansen lines. Like um her other dry in, Insta Dry ones were perfect, but this one like I put it on like I usually put one or two coats on anyway, but it was so like lucid and like sheer that you couldn't even see it. And I know it's supposed to be nude, but I thought it'd be a little bit like solid, but it wasn't and I was really disappointed. Next product I regret buying, I got a full kit of these right here. They're the Elf Hyper Shine Glass. Let me take a drink. And honestly, you put it on your lips and it feels like it's glue drying. And you rub your lips together and it like takes skin off your lips. Like it was a good deal. Like I got like seven of them for like four dollars, but no. Don't the other ones work well? No, they all suck. All of them. Mm, don't Every single it. one of these. I'm disappointed in you, Elf. Like she's disappointed in Maybelline. I'm disappointed in you. No, I really love Maybelline. That disappointed me so much. Okay, the next one I don't like. I mean, I love this too at the same time. It's Sally Hansen Gym Crush. And when I first got it, it was amazing. And it literally sparkles like crazy. And I use it for everything. Like I put it, I'm going to take this out, on my applicator for my phone. And... It looks so pretty, it's sparkly and everything, but after a few uses, it just clumped up. Like, look at that. It just won't even go off. And just, it's <coughs> just, excuse me, my ladylike friend. It <laughs> is hard and it's just, just awful to try to put on. Like, you know how crackle, if you use it too often, you just can't use it anymore? Same with this. So I'm going to have to get another bottle and I don't want to pay it four dollars for another bottle so yeah actually i think it was like six but it's worth it for the first time okay and i mentioned this in our previous video and this is like it goes on really easily and that's a good thing but it also comes off really easily and it like melts down your face like even after an hour it's like down to here sis are you cold yeah I can tell. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah. So, yeah. I wouldn't recommend this. I mean, same price as every other eyeliner there. So get every other eyeliner. Do not get this one. Uh, but um, it, it is pigmented. But Don't recommend, like, LA color eyeliner, though. Mm -mm. I'm talking about, like, Maybelline's. Like, Any other Maybelline eyeliner, yes. Yeah, cause this one is good. It's like pigmented and it stays on, but it doesn't stay like on like all day long. Mm -hmm. It goes on your face and it rubs off on layer. Mm -hmm. So, everyone, our friend is being kind of mean. So she's gonna go downstairs now. Oh, she's hungry, so she's gonna eat again, even though she just ate like six pieces of pizza. So, make me a sandwich, woman. Make my Do your Judy and make a sandwich. Oh, I forgot something. <laughs> okay. No, I'm kind of scared she's going to mess up my sandwich. So the last thing is the LA Colors Bronzer. Okay. And at first, I thought it looked really good. You know, it's good if you like sparkles on your face, oh, which makes your pores look bigger. But hey, just saying, this, no. It looks like you put straight eyeshadow on your face. It, it does not look good. Remember when we were kids and we used to put eyeshadow everywhere? <laughs> Me too. 
paint our fingernails starting from here because no, my I sister, told him that's not how you're supposed to do it. She but said it was the fashion that she, that she saw in the magazine. So we were like, oh, it must be cool then. Yeah, so we would start from here and paint all the way down our fingers on every single one, including our toes. Oh, and then she thought it was fun to put like lip gloss on your eyelids. And I'm like, you're going to break out. <laughs> This is Tabby, by the way, who was saying all this. You met her before. So, that is it for this video, and thank you for watching. Oh, and a song that I want to tell everybody about is A Little More Work by Kira Isabella. She's the bomb, like, tick, tick, bro. Tick, tick, tock. So, um, whoever channel you're watching right now, whether it be mine or hers, will put the link for the other person's channel down below. So you can go see their stuff and just have fun watching. She's um kind of yeah, subscribe. You'll love her. Subscribe. Mm. Love ya. Mm.